Often in divorce cases, you have one person that might be more financially savvy than the other. One person is just more familiar with the numbers and more familiar with you know finances in general. So what happens with a divorce financial neutral is that's somebody who comes in and is in a position to kind of level the playing field. That's someone that can explain it to both parties and even to the financially savvy person, be able to explain why he or she might have to make payments that they didn't think they'd have to make. But really what it is, is it levels the playing field on financial knowledge. And it's someone who's neutral, so they're working for both parties. 